So in this journey of serving, what has been the biggest lesson for you personally to be able to show up and serve the way that you do? Mm. I would say that you can't give what you don't have. And I have lived the life where I was a public success, but a private mess. You know, I know how to make it look good. I know how to make it sparkle, know how to make it shine, know how to get people saying, "Mm mm-hmm, yeah, child, okay, girl, say it, sis. You know, I knew how to do all of that. You know, I knew all the cues. But then, you know, when the curtain closes and I'm going back to this life that is characterized by broken relationships, characterized by overeating and over drinking and coping and stuffing my emotions in the bag and, you know, and fawning, you know, to try to keep the peace and and all of those things. And after a while, that catches up with you. You know, when you don't deal with those issues, they will absolutely deal with you. And so that is where I started to learn how to live in what I call integrity. I think that whenever people hear the word integrity, they think like from a morality perspective, like, you know, you're the type of person that would, you know, steal somebody's quarters off the dresser. No, it's not that. Integrity from my perspective is one that speaks to wholeness, one that is intact and unbroken, that things are in alignment, that what you say and what you do is in alignment with what you think and what you believe and what you affirm in your life, that there is no quote unquote version of you that isn't consistent, you know? Um, And so I realized that I could not do the work without doing the work. (laughs) You know, you can't fake the funk and you can't just try to stay one, one lesson, one sound bite, one, you know, a man ahead of the crowd. You actually have to, to be about that life. Otherwise you are living, um, out of integrity and you're being inauthentic. Mm -hmm. 